In this video, we're going to show you how to, uh, actually we're going to show you an alternative to creating your quiz questions in Adobe Captivate. So, let's get started. I have a very, very basic uh, shell of a course here, uh, a single slide with a quiz results slide. So, what I could do at this point is I could normally go into quiz and question slide and check off all the types of questions I'm going to use, put in the appropriate numbers here, select whether they're graded or surveys, and then click OK. But I'd still have to type out all of my questions, and uh, presumably you have those somewhere. So a great alternative to doing that is using uh, Adobe Captivate's capability to import a GIFT file. Now a GIFT file is a format used by many popular LMSs to import uh, assessments. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to create your own GIFT file and importing it into Captivate 8. So let's hit cancel for now. And I'm going to open up um, a GIFT format file in uh, MS Notepad. And uh, I've already started this one, so it's got a couple of questions in there. But we'll take you through them, and so you can understand uh, how the formatting. I'm going to choose three different question types, but there are others that you can do. Uh, I recommend that you uh, do a Google search for GIFT question format, and you'll, uh, you'll see some results. Uh, I know that uh, various websites have documentation about this. But here's a high-level overview of what this, or how this works. So for each question, you're going to have uh, three elements. You're going to have, of course, the, the interaction itself, which could be multiple choice, true, false, and in this case, uh, matching. We're, we're going to show you how to do matching as well. And obviously, the other two elements are the quiz title, or the question slide title, and the question itself. So pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're going to do is the title. Now the title has to be in GIFT format. Um, it has to be surrounded by two colons, which creates almost like a dice effect in a way. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I digress. So you start this. Let's create a new question here following the formatting that we're already used. So I'm going to type in two colons, which is shift semicolon on my key. And we'll type in gift question. I've done three, so we'll go to four. And then follow it with those two colons as well. The next line, we're going to put in the actual question itself. So I'm going to come up with a new true or false type question. And let's see, what can we say? Uh, true or false, true or false. Every human has, no, that's not a good one. Uh, every human lives on the planet Earth. That's true. And then to distinguish that this is a true statement, we use these crazy curly parentheses, which are usually a shift couple of shift keys there and then within those parentheses uh, we're going to put in either a capital T for true or a capital F for false or forget about it and in this case let's make this false I already have a true up here and I'm going to change this uh, every human has two legs obviously some people you know amputees uh, may not have two legs, uh, so that's false. We can't say that every single human has two legs. Um, definitely false. So that's an example of a true-false statement. Um, let's take a look at um, a multiple choice question. So I have one up here. Question two, select the correct answer. What color is the sky? And there are four choices available. Again, we're putting those inside those curly parentheses, and the correct statement 
begins, we put an equal sign at the beginning of it. So the correct answer is blue, obviously. And so we simply type in equals blue. Um, the wrong answers, the distractors as they're sometimes known, are followed by tildes. Now tildes are a funny key you probably don't use every day. You'll probably find this on the upper left hand corner of your keyboard and it's uh, I think it's one of those shift key functions as well. So um, let's make a new multiple choice question. So again double colon gift question five double colon. Let's see, what can we ask here? Who is the current President of the United States? It's a good question. This is one of those things where you always have to be careful of when you're writing questions, will they be true six months from now, a year from now, and so on. Um, so you don't want to date your course too much. Uh, but, you know, for for our purposes here, this will work fine. So I'm going to put my little curly parentheses to indicate that this is where the answers will go. And the correct answer equals Obama, because that is true. And we'll put some tilde answers here that are wrong. So tilde Reagan, tilde Bush, Tilda Bush, Tilda Clinton. I think that about covers it. Um, so again, we've we've covered multiple choice questions. Now, this third question that I have up here, this is a little bit different. This is actually a matching question, and how it works is. Uh, well, it's kind of similar to the true, or sorry, the multiple choice, because we start off with equals airplane, and then we use this um, this hyphen and the um, right arrow to indicate goes with sky or matches sky, and of course we have another equals car because of course with a, with a matching you're going to end up end up with um, multiple items matching or going with other items. So that's what the arrow represents. And of course they're all correct answers if they're done properly. So equals airplane goes with sky, equals car goes with highway, equals walking goes with sidewalk. So let's create a new one of those just so you can see how it's done. So we use the double colon, gift, question six, and again double colon. Let's think of a question here. Um, which well we could just go with um, which items go with one another. It's a little tricky. Um, just realized I didn't have a period up here. Let's put that in. Okay, so my curly parentheses start off with that. Let's pick something here. Um, equals camera goes with film. Another one equals printer. Let's make sure I'm sticking with the same formatting goes with paper equals pen. Oh, that's tricky. Let's go with lead goes with pencil. Although there's probably not a lot of people that would know that because um, I don't think pencils actually use lead. But um, let's try something else. Picture goes with frame. So again, these are all correct answers when you match up these two items with one another. So I, I don't like this one here. Let's change that. Let's say 
pen goes with pencil. All right, so I have my question uh, gift format file ready. I just need to save it. Now, there's something you need to do when you save. And let's just go save as. And we're going to save it to the desktop. We'll just call it gift file, which is fine. Make sure your encoding is set for UTF-8. And I think UTF stands for Universal Text Format, maybe. I could be wrong. Uh, for my purposes it does, so we'll call it that. Make sure you choose this encoding because uh, the other encodings I've discovered don't work. And then we'll just save that file there. So we can close this window now and we can move back to Adobe Captivate. So let's say I have my course ready to go and you know again I'm not going to have to individually create all the questions here. All I need to do is import the GIFT format file and you would navigate of course to the location where you save that file in this case it's my desktop there's the file there and we're just gonna hit open you'll see a progress bar or progress window and once it's done all your questions should be in place so here's our first question you can see that it was able to distinguish between uh, the rest of the question and the title so gift question one all of us live on planet earth true Let's go down to question two. Select the correct answer. What color is the sky? Blue, red, green, orange. Now this brings me to uh, an interesting point. One of the things that you might want to do is enhance your questions at this point. So you could go over to the, the question properties uh, section and make sure you check off things like shuffle answers so that every time someone runs this quiz they get a question of this question. Uh, let's go down again. So here's one of our matching questions. Which object goes with which location? So as you can see, the whole little uh, dash arrow effect uh, works perfectly here. It recognizes that airplane goes with sky, car goes with highway, walking goes with sidewalk. Let's check out the next question. So another true or false. In this case, it's false. Every human has two legs. And then here's our President of the United States question. Again, we might want to randomize this. So, uh, you know, obviously uh, Obama, you don't want the right answer always to be answer A. So, um, you know, and you can do other things like change your buttons and so forth. I'll leave that part up to you. And then another matching here, of course, uh, which items go with one another? Camera, film, printer, paper, pen, pencil, picture, frame. So, it works quite well, and as you can see, it saves me a lot of time, and of course, the, the formatting all works, because it comes right from my Adobe Captivate template. Um, if you want to learn more about the GIFT format of, uh, of file format for, for questions, uh, maybe just Google GIFT format questions, and you'll probably find various different pages. I know there's LMS support pages which talk about uh, all the various syntax. Of course there's other things you can do with it. Uh, we didn't cover off multiple choice, multiple answers. That's a possibility as well. And you can even get into the different grading formats. So um, for example you can have partial answers by giving multiple correct answers and each one is worth a certain percentage and so on. So uh, some interesting stuff there that you can do. Um, if you guys are liking the videos uh, that I'm producing, please subscribe. And if you like this video in particular, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.